So the idea in normal muscle function is that you have certain muscles that are actually torque generators and there are other muscles that are stabilizers. And so there's a misconception that when you train muscles, you need to train the stabilizers to do their job in the stabilizing joint and train the torque generators to be able to, to generate the forces. Every muscle in the body actually has a function to provide stability through motion. And so even though you have muscles that are torque generators that are actually producing the forces and separate muscles that we would classify as being stabilizers, which would hold the segments of the, say, the spine in proper alignment, every muscle in the body provides a stabilizing component through motion. Based off the fact that every muscle has a certain percentage of slow twitch muscle fibers. And so the slow twitch muscle fibers are the muscles that contract and contract on demand. And those are the ones that we're focusing on with muscle activation technique. Because when the muscle loses its ability to contract, it loses its ability to contract on demand. So it's the slow twitch muscle fibers that are negatively affected by inflammation. So even these big muscles, the torque generators like your external oblique and, and longissimus lumborum and these muscles that are really large torque generating muscles, they have a component of slow twitch fibers fibers also. And so those muscles also have to be able to contract on demand. We'll have our classification of stabilizing muscles which have a predominance of slow twitch muscle fibers where their torque generators would actually have a higher predominance of fast twitch muscle fibers but that it's the slow twitch component of every muscle that is actually will dictate whether or not those muscles are able to contract and contract on demand and, and that's what we are measuring with MAT.